this is uh, a little different to the uh, format again this uh, video it's um, well I'm showing you this neck basically this neck here is off a music man bongo Ooh. and it's it's suffered from a thing that happens to quite a lot of bolt-ons especially ones that get gigged I mean this has been on and off of airplanes uh, you know it, it in cars out of cars traveled a lot done a lot of work <clears throat> and um, it's getting a buzz even with a high action it's buzzing a lot um, that's partly to do with one of these frets up here is is higher than the rest I think it's number six it might have been number five I can't remember exactly but I'll find it um, and it's partly to do with this end is it bolt on necks swell because the moisture gets in into the bolts or the screws really the screws and um, makes the wood swell up and I know that's happened here because I had to put these frets back because the board is is longer or wider than the length of the frets um, so that's I've pushed those back in but I need to take some of the meat off this end because it causes a hump and it goes up like that it swells goes up like that and then your string buzzes on here so I need to take some of the metal off the frets at this end and then dress the whole neck flat I'm at the moment it's quite banana-ish because it has quite heavy strings on it I don't think you can see it let's get a yeah you can see that gap there that's rather large so that needs it to come flat and then I'll dress the frets on this end here it's not quite so apparent because it's been under under tension for a, quite a while I've had it on back tension with the jig here um, and it's done it's done a lot of good but there's still a gap you can't really see it on this camera unfortunately maybe you can there you go there's still a gap and that is enough to cause a buzz so we're going to take that out let's get to it masked up all the way along I'll protect the fingerboard from anything that goes wrong especially as it's ebony that will mark um, that I've colored the top of these two frets in so that's what we're gonna do we, we cover them in black pen all the way along <clears throat> and we can see where we've been with the file then or straight edge straight edge you know leveling beams leveling beams that's what I'm looking for we have got straight edges various different sorts and we'll be using them as well I'll explain them when I do it so next I'm going to use the truss rod with a straight edge along there like that and I'm going to set the neck to the relief that I want it set up when it's in a playing position um, I'll do that with a feeler gauge and truss rod and a um, straight edge. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, support the neck with this bar here so it doesn't push down while I'm, I'm filing it. So next we're going to use a levelling beam to take the, the hump out of here. Um, so we'll just concentrate on this end of the neck. It should be straight from the 9th really, but certainly from the 12th. So 
you know, it should be flat. Even with relief in it, should be flat. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to flatten it with the um, with the bar, concentrating mostly on this end. Right, so I've taken enough off this end. I'm now going to bring it flat, the whole board flat, and um, then I'm going to do the rest of it so it's all a uniform flatness. So start this end and work that way, and it should be a nice even slope all the way down the frets. And then when we put the relief back in, there won't be any buzz in this end and all these will be nice and flat as well. Frets are basically level now, but on these first three frets, we've got a couple of little, little low spots where the strings have eaten in. And I figure while we're here, we might as well just get them out because that's not, it's not going to take too many more passes to get those out. Um, and then that will level everything up nice and nice and evenly. So yes, next. Uh, Next bit. Frets are all level now. There's a little tiny dink left there, but that'll polish out in there. That'll polish out in the polishing and uh, crowning phase, which we're going into now. Let's do it. Polish the very tops of the um, frets. You can't actually see them at the moment, but there's no there's no more grooves or file marks left in them. No more tool marks. Um, so the next bit we need to do is crown them over, so that there's just basically the, the thin part down the middle of the fret is what is touching the string. Um, we don't want to do too, make it too thin on a base because it's big heavy strings and that will just eat away, make holes. So we're just going to, um, you know, uh, crown them so it's got a, quite a nice line, a fairly meaty line, but so it's still in tune. Let's go. Right, so they're all clean now and polished and crowned. I've left them slightly flat on top. There's a few tool marks in here which I'll need to get out, but I'll do the, the on the I'll 
on the buffer. Um, and that'll polish that up nicely, put a bit of uh, polishing compound on it. And that, that'll get all those tool marks out. Those last little fine ones like that there. I don't know if you can see that really. Just a few little marks on the edges. You can't feel them, but I don't like them, so I will get them out. Um, yeah, that's it. So that concludes that video. I'm not going to show you the setup and everything because it doesn't. Um, you've seen me do it loads of times before, so. Now yeah. we are going to use the buffer to shine the frets, buff the frets, polish them. Um, I put a little bit of uh, straight razor strut paste on it and then I just polish them. Um, so yeah, I'll show you how to do that. So the um, frets are polished on the thingy. There's a little bit of residue left on them from the uh, compound. So that's got to come off. I'll wipe that off with a microfiber cloth in a minute. And then it's done. The frets are done. So I can put it back on the guitar and set it all up, which I'm not going to film because I've done that before. So. I'll probably show you the neck when it's finished and um, we'll call it a day for filming. See you in a bit. Right, the neck is finished. Woo. The, uh, the frets are all level and polished and as they should be, looks good. So, uh, I'll give you a little close up. I don't know if I'll get a well, you can see. Ah, oh, look! If I do that, you can see the light, the, the reflections. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, the frets are done. Um, the neck's ready to go back on, and um, that's the next step, really. That's what I'll be doing. But I'm not going to film it because you've seen me do it dozens of times, and um, it will get a bit boring, won't it? So yes. So if you need anything, as always, give me a shout. Um, any comments, leave a comment if you like it, like, subscribe if you don't mind, um, Facebook and Instagram and all that stuff, um, any advice give me a shout, it's always free, and uh, I'll see you in the next one, have a lovely time, have a good Easter.